welcome back to my channel i just made my notebook as a sketchbook in order to improve my drawings i just use a notebook so i don't give importance to the perfection i just do it so i want you guys to take a look at my 100 plus drawing challenge so let's get into it, into it. At first, I start with some leaf drawings to make sure the idea of plant drawing. I drew 30 types of leaves here. I learned the shapes and vibrance of the plants from this drawing. This one was really cool. The first plant, leaf plant. I tried at all the implement I learned on the leaf drawing and learned some technique in order to draw a plant leaves. I was also learned to track the flowy stem of the plants. I designed my first ever character. I named her the leaf girl, Louise. I really like the way she looked with this ball pen. I built up this small character and final creation was Louise. Then again, I start with plant drawing with some reference on Pinterest. I build up slowly with pencil in order to create this vibrant plant. And one more thing, I accidentally crunched the paper. It wasn't damaged, so it's okay. It's damaged a bit. And here's uh, some oil pastel plants. I try experiment bunch of different color. It ends up lost the vibrance of plants. Uh, then I come to know I wasn't ready enough to give some colors like this. But it's okay. It's an experimental art. It, I'm just experimenting what color does work for this plant. So let it be. Next one, I give the watercolor and gel pen plants. The way the gel pens blend with the watercolor, it was it create vibrant and soft plant look. This is what I expect. I definitely recommend you guys to try this out. I also did an experiment with a bunch of different colors with the watercolors of course. I like neon pink, neon orange, blue, dark green, purple, dark purple and light purple. I really like the way it turns out. So I definitely recommend you guys to try it out. Next up, plan drawing with markers. I had a whole video on this. Definitely check out. Otherwise, you will miss the fun out. I don't really want you to do that. So, link in the description box. Check it out. It looks like a science project. I really enjoyed learning something new. I really liked it. I hope you guys get the same vibes as me. Next up, color pencil sketches. I grab my green color pencil and draw some plants. It's turned out pretty amazing. And these are the marker bladings. Don't mind her. Don't mind that it happens all the time. I'm glad the markers haven't destroyed this drawing. I really liked it though, but leave it to be just the marker bleeding. It can't destroy my art. Next stuff, lazy swatches. The loose sketch was still looking pretty. I decided to give some colors to it. Adding colors can take the sketch into next level. And I also did some wash of colors. The idea of the plant drawing was bloody brilliant. I didn't really expect this. I did some swatches to fill the white space and reference just in case these two plants here i decide to leave it in pencil sketch otherwise it looks too much in this page next up the loose sketch of house plant this is how my house plants look like pretty messy but it has the texture the different kind of plants, the different different variety of plants. 
I decide to leave the pencil sketch alone so it does show through. This from Magic Marcus. It's a simple but beautiful, I guess. So let's get to the next page. These are the simple plant sketch. I drew some different types of wine. I just love the wines. And these are the leaf plants. All of the plants I have give the color, but at least one I just give the background and let it white. It kind of looks different. And I also add the sculpture plant. If you see closely, the sculpture plant was is here. At the beginning, I draw that and I repeat the same pattern in it. And it does look amazing. I really like this one. This was my favorite. And we have some quotas here. These are from my notebook. Dream, believe, do, repeat. And you get what you love. This is why I love doing my sketches in notebooks. It has some quarters inspiring you at the same time. Next up, loose watercolor painting. I paint variety of plants. There is a 10 of them. And then lastly, I grab my black pen and give some layout for the plants. Coming to the... I really like that the vibrance, the color I give. I give it with the neon orange as well. This kind of make it pop. I really liked it. Coming for the final page, some same loose sketches, watercolor painting. When I come to the final 100 plan, I decide to create something cool. I did this sculpture art and complete the 100 plans drawing challenge. I really love it. I create it with a blank paper and paste it on. It's a really nice little painting. I really love it. I don't want it to be look simple, the 100 plants. The last plant of the challenge, I don't want it to look so simple. So I did this. May I tell you my little secret? When it comes to notebook pages, I'm not giving importance to the perfection. Just did it. But when it comes to creating an art in a blank page, it looks pretty amazing. And these are the my secrets. Rather than plan drawing, I also did some other drawing I want to show you guys but I decided to give a sketchbook too after I finish this sketchbook so stay tuned with me. Don't forget to subscribe to me. So yeah. So that's it for the today's video. Uh, we really come to the end of the videos. If you guys like my creation, drop a big thumbs up and comment down below if you guys want to see me recreating this sculpture art sculpture art for you guys so uh, comment down below what you're thinking your opinions are most welcome here so i see you guys in my next tuesday video until then i hope you guys have a delicious evening and bye